let's see the node.js scripts I have a node.js script here we have a server I open this script I have a, uh, some variables don't worry with this is uh, just a template you can use we have a list of uh, clients or players a client lockup another list uh, another list here the socks represent the players too have a three lists here we have io.com connection to use this sock io I have a current user, uh, the current player. I have a sock.com ping to receive messages from the emit ping application now call send ping ig to ping ig here. Receive the package here, convert and print the message here this this message is this message here and response to uh, back to network manager using sock.emit pong identifier and the package here but we have a intermediary script called the client.js um, I have some templates here I'll open show explorer you need web gl templates in the project folder you need this web GL templates tutorial I have an index just on template for web gl you can copy and paste use a, anything you want in this template we have a sock.io library this is important and client.js we need this script to communicate the server with the network manager script we need this client.js let's see it We have the client here so in pong example socket emit pong send to client pong here we get this package here connect using this remember we use it the limiter here Two points the same we need the same identifier the limiter here and send it to network manage class object then the same name of object here we need the same name and the same name of the script to network manager on print pong measures methods and the package is here so we have the method on print pong message here on print pong message here and the package here in string format here printed with here using the limiter here id so this send the information to the unit send message that you manage we receive the information and print on the screen. We do the same thing with other functions in our game. For example, sock down login. So we have a emit join. We use login identifier here. All this information sent to login sock down login here. The data the package here is the same is this json object here is this data 
package here. We set grant username, position, rotation, ID, socket ID. You can use this socket ID here from the, the player called this method. We print some information here. We put the player on the client's list, list here, grant user. We put the player in another client lockup. This a dictionary is very similar with this dictionary, this Unity dictionary is very similar. We put the player here, print some information, and response to the player using login success ID. Send the all player information we need. The login success is in client here. So this send to client and the client send to network manager class in Unity. You concatenate ID, name and position and send this package to network manage class and on join game methods. We have this method here on join game and package is here. We split the package ID name position here ID name position on current user send to Unity here data in string format. All right. To spawn network players, you use a spawn player ID. So we, we spawn all connect client for the current player here, client is for, for edge. Our, our clients we send to spawn player. In client, we have spawn player here. With ID name position in this package and send it to on spawn player methods in network manager class on spawn player methods here to spawn all network players here and we spawn our player our local player to in to our clients using broadcast. So using socks.emit broadcast our local player current user to our players. This send to our players. So use spawn player here, client, spawn player to send on to methods on spawn player to spawn our players in game here. To spawn our local player to our players in game. We have a move and rotate sock dot on. Remember you use the on update method move and rotate method to send this information, position and rotation. Sorry, we use emit move and rotation. And we have this identifier here to send the server. In server, we receive this information here. We using the same ID and update current user position and current player rotation and sending broadcast to all players using update move and rotate in client here. Update move and rotate in client. Send it to on update move and rotation to all players in broadcast. So we use the on update move and rotate method to update local to update network players in game. Here, update in position, update rotation, network players rotation and position. To disconnect the player, use user disconnected using ID. You just send the on user disconnected methods. In server, we have the sun. 
or disconnect. When player disconnects, this method is called. So we emit broadcast, use disconnect, send to client, and client send to unity, and unity destroy the network player. Just this we need player guys to create our, our game. So this is, is a basic example to create a, a single multiplayer game in Unity. To run all the examples of these assets, we need to download the WebGL templates. For example, I like to run the full rings sample, for example. I select this. Go to the, our GitHub page github.com download the WebGL templates folder here we have a templates for FPS Fox Legacy, Multiverse Drive, Tutorial, etc. So I select tutorial here, select the same here, download this page here, download the zip. Extract the folder in every location you want. Here, for example, I have a tutorial templates. Drag and drop this folder on the WebGL project folder inside assets folder here. Ctrl V, put this folder here with the tutorial template with client.js and index. The difference of uh, the default template and this, we have the two lines, ad ad additional two lines here to use the soft.io and to use client.js. We have the client file here, like template, all right. Just put the WebGL templates inside the assets folder. Go back to Unity. Here we have the WebGL templates. Here. To build the game, we need to go to File, Build Scenes, Settings. Choose the WebGL option here. Um, for we go to player settings we need to go to, to player settings and select the template of you want like a tutorial example for example we select the tutorial template here another thing we need to do is go to Go to publishing settings and compression format. Choose to disable. It's very important to run the game. So let's it. Go to select the close this. Just go to build. Go to the build and choose your Node.js folder. I have a folder on my service here. I create a folder called public. Inside this folder, we put the index file and client file. So I just copy this address, select the public, select the folder, and wait for the build. All right, guys. Inside the public folder, we have the complete uh, Unity files here, our index file, our client file here. So we have the server.io, our client methods here, and our index file here with two lines very important for us connect to the client.js and Sorgio, Sorgio.js. All right, guys. So I go back to tutorial folders. 
in here we have our server script here we need uh, to run our node.js server we need to copy this address ctrl c pay a, a cmd to run our node.js server put cd space write music button enter and to run the, our server we need to first install node modules um, libraries we need the short id um, express and sock.io I have the package where I inform this dependencies here. So with this, we just need to put npm install. Sorry, install g. Press enter to install all these libraries here. Updated. I already installed in node modules folder. We have our libraries. All right. Now we can just run the game here. Press to run the server. We need press node. The command node, and the name of the server. In this case, server node server press enter our server is running now open your browser i open the google chrome press local roast dot two point three hundred a part you use in, in the server here use this part here all right Here, this is our address. We have the first player here and the second player here. I open two clients here. Let's join to the game. Player one, ping to server in this tab. Developer tools. All right, receiving message from the server. All right, here. Join to the game. All right, everything work works nice. Player two. All right, everything works. WebGL game. You put the server in Amazon, AWS, or Google Cloud, or Azure. You can choose any service, cloud service to uh, to host your game and to deploy your game. So it's very nice to do that. This is basic WebGL mood player tutorial. If you have any questions, please uh, let your comments to below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye.